You look like a celebrity that's dressed up and trying to get away from everyone. It's pretty. And your big old glasses. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Noob Boozer, and today. I'm gonna show you how we're fixing our broken ass bed. Now that we got the girlfriend her coffee and she's a happy camper, we are on our way to the Home Depot. Yeah, she's got four shots of espresso in that bad boy. Cause it is four o'clock on a Saturday Sunday and someone's still not awake. God, I hate these potholes. Omaha roads suck. I am in front of the Home Depot so the problem we're having with our bed is it is one of those beds that you're not supposed to use a box frame on because it's already high off the ground and it's got those built-in slats. Well, the problem we're having is all of the, like three or four of the slats are broken and they're sagging. So our mattress is sagging in and it's uncomfortable and it sucks. So my goal is I'm gonna go in and buy a pair of jack stands and a two by four, and we're gonna ghetto fix this. How's that coffee? Um, it's better than no coffee. Is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, you just gonna stay here? Yep. And hibernate in the Jeep? Yep. All right, I got my wood, so now back to the apartment to put it all back together. I got my wood and I guessed just right. That bear barely fits in the, are you smelling it? Uh -huh. I love the smell of wood. <laughs> <laughs> you just look like you're hungover. <laughs> I feel like I am. No, don't you love the smell of fresh wood? That's pretty nice. These people in this car are staring at us like, what are these weird fuckers <laughs> doing? Try a nacho fry. A nacho fry. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Hmm. I've never had nacho fries. We stopped at Taco Bell on the way back. Now that we're done driving, I can go ahead and roll my intro and say, make yourself a drink and get ready to do some redneck stuff. So here is the culprit. These stupid slats, they just, they have too much bend to them. And the bends combined with that broken one, that half broken one, right where we sleep, just makes the mattress sag in the middle and it blows. You can tell she likes to sleep in that drawer because of the cat fur on the bottom of the mattress. Yeah, that looks right. Yeah, we found your hiding place, didn't we? <laughs> Didn't we? We missed the pee mist. Yeah, you look so derpy on camera. It's cold. We are in the garage where the magic happens. I've got the saw cut up. I marked it out. I'm gonna cut this bear down to 75 and a half inches. Yeah. Oh. Man, what I would do to pay for a garage with heat. Oh, piece of shit. Didn't even cut all the way through. God damn it. Why not? That's stupid. Oh, I can turn it. There we go. And now we're just gonna cut this piece into a bunch of sections. I might need it. We'll find out. Okay, that's really making me mad that my saw does not cut all the way through it. 
Why not? Oh, oh, oh my god, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. With the fucking saw. Slides. Wow. I feel like a moron for not realizing that the saw slid back and forth. It's been a good hot minute since I actually had to use that. We got our board cut to length. Perfect. Now I'm gonna open up these jack stands and I'm gonna find a way to shove them under the bed. Wow, these are really cheap. This is gonna be perfect. So I'm thinking we're gonna put it one, two, three, four, four slats in. One. I guess I got a washing pin. Huh. I've never seen I've never seen a jack stand with a locking pin. Shit, I have my arm stuck. Ah. Ah. Fuck. Ah. This would be a lot easier if I took all the slats out, but I'm not going to. We're just gonna keep scooping this one slat at a time. Wow, that one's really broken. Man. Oh. I feel like I'm going on an excursion. Slide it to me through that opening. I didn't think this through at all. Yeah, I did not think this through. Just don't hit me in the nuts. You got it? Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, your fingers will be smashed. Perfect. Yeah. We got the jack holding up the beam. That's holding all these stupid slats straight since they like to bend for some reason, which is dumb. Now I gotta crawl my fat ass out of here. That does look straight. That actually looks perfect. That looks right on the money. So now those are perfectly straight. I'm gonna go ram some wood screws into a couple slats just to like stabilize it. And there you have it. So now all that's left to do is put the mattress on and test her out. Ignore that guy. I uh, may have stripped out a screwdriver bit because I was using the wrong one and I'll have to take care of that guy later. You ready to come lay on the bed and tell me if it gets your thumbs up of approval? Oh, where's my whiskey? I did not drink nearly enough whiskey during this video. Here we go, this is the moment of truth. Awful, just kidding. Oh, you didn't even get on it yet. Yeah. Does it feel like it sags anymore? I was like, it shouldn't be if any. But you need to come up here too because it's the best. What do you think? That does feel much better, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who needs a new bed when you have jack stands and two by fours? Think of one eventually. I'm gonna vote that a success. Unlike my TV, which which broke again a day after I fixed it. Oh, do they know that? No, I don't think I admitted that yet. I was gonna make another video about that piece of shit TV. But yeah, so I made that video on how to repair your TV. It broke again because uh, the replacement part was bad. So screw Polaroid. I went out and bought a TCL. Anyways, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the little bell icon, leave comments if you want to see me continue fixing stuff the redneck way because I have a lot of stuff that needs fixing. And I have a lot of redneck ideas.